Hello and welcome to another edition of Capper Comparison Picks. I'm Ranj. Today I will be giving you the main event and co-main event of uh, UFC A on ABC2. Uh, Martin Vittori vs. Kevin Holland. Um, also known as UFC Vegas 23. Okay, uh, I have a video... I've covered every single fight on this card so far. Look at how it's Wow. But, uh, and right now, Bellator's on. And so this is going to be done in haste. I did throw a lot of cappers that I wrote down throughout the week, but there's some that I missed that I meant to get back, and I, ju I just don't have the time to do that. But I will throw up the cappers I did manage to catch. And, um... So, so we can get back to watching some mixed martial arts. All right, so the co-main event. We've got a featherweight fight between almighty Arnold Allen, and he's taking on Super Sodik Youssef. Um, Arnold Allen is Welsh. He's uh, fighting out of TriStar. Uh, you know, that's Faraz Sahabi. Up in Canada, Quebec, Canada, has people like Roy McDonald, um, Eamon Zahabi, of course, Kevin Lee, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, GSP, if you want it, but he, you know. But anyway, um, TriStar is, is known for being a good good training facility. Uh, Sonique Youssef, he fights out of Team Lloyd Irving. That's in uh, down in Maryland, I do believe. Has people like James Vick and Tafan the Chukwi. I remember Lloyd Irving from way back in the like the early 2000s when I was taking jiu-jitsu. I remember Lloyd Irving had a great jiu-jitsu school. So, anyway, um, Arnold Allen, 16 and one. He's the underdog here, plus 130. Uh, Youssef is 11 and one. Favorite at minus 150. Okay, the uh, bookies have the total going over two and a half at minus 200, two to one. They, they got to think going to decision. Uh, if you want, see, you want to take a gamble, you can get it going, stop it early, and you'll get paid plus 160, meaning you'll get $16 on your $10 bet. Or $160 on your $100 bet. I'm just trying to make it easier for you guys. Okay, so. <clears throat> oh, another note. Um, yeah, Arnold Allen is coming off a win against Nick Lentz. Uh, unanimous decision. So DQ Youssef is coming, out of a, coming off a win against Andre Feely. Unanimous decision. These guys are both topology green all the way across the board so uh yeah these guys are both uh ranked contenders for featherweight okay um taking arnold allen we've got uh layton from ufc gambling addicts uga layton coincidentally layton trains at the same gym as arnold allen so he kind of goes like I'm not biased or anything, but I do train at the same gym he does. That he must train at uh, BKK Fighters. That's the gym he fights. He trains at when he's in England. And I looked at that list. And there's a ton of Cage Warriors on there, but uh, Arnold is Arnold Allen is the only UFC fighter that I recognized out of there, out of the list. So anyway, um, he's saying uh, he didn't say how, but he did say. Layton did say he's got Allen in this, the underdog Allen, okay? Then over here, I should have started, I was supposed to start out with the favorite. My mess, my bad. All right, um, Clint, he's leaning Yusef. He might have, uh, he might have made a decision by now. This I got this earlier in the week. Um, there's been weigh-ins now, so... I, I, I didn't get to watch him yet. I'm gonna, that's another thing I have to do. I have to still watch the weigh-ins. And, uh, my mouth is dry. 
Mm. Okay. So, but Clint, I got him in his podcast show, and then with uh, Kelton, both times he said he's leaning so deep. So deep, Youssef, the Nigerian. He does have a slight, just a one inch reach, height and reach advantage over Arnold Allen, but that's one inch, that's nothing. You know, whatever. Son of a, all right. Um. Also taking uh, Youssef was Kelton. He did say by, MMA Kelton said by decision for Youssef. For the favorite, um, MMA Prediction Guru. He's on Sodik, Super Sodik. Also by decision. It's trend, started trend. Um, lock of the Night, he's taking Arnold Allen. MMA Lock of the Night, Manpreet. He's got Arnold Allen by decision. Okay. Um, Parley Punch. Both the boys, Matt and Josh, are taking uh, Arnold Allen. P Punch. And they're both taking him by decision. Okay. So that's that's two cappers though. And so should I write it twice? Nah. <laughs> Okay, uh, where'd I leave off? Fight night picks. Here's another two cappers. See, that evens it out. Because they're both, Matt and Craig Allen, are both taking Sodik Yusuf. Yusuf. Super Sodik. Yusuf. Um, then, uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, I got like an itch right here. I don't know what it was. Okay, um... Vlad, Bulgarian Cowboy, he's down here, UFC Celebrities and Classics, also taking Youssef. Vlad, or these uh, links will be in the description, see I gotta still plug that crap, I got a ton of stuff to do, I gotta keep going. Alright, um, E-Money, you guys know E-Money, young, young guy from uh, Rhode Island, always trying to do his, uh, do his videos and watch longs all, you know, without his parents busting in. They're out in the hallway. Hold on. <laughs> Every time his mom opens the door, he, he like just puts the camera down. It's, I don't know. It's weird. But <laughs> anyway, it's, uh, I th I find E Money thoroughly enjoyable. I consider him. He's a, one of my YouTube friends. I like him. Definitely subscribe to E Money. Absolutely. Um. Underdogs MMA, that is the guy that does the DraftKings. Give him some support, too, because this guy, he's good, man. He does a lot of DraftKings lineups. He does this, he does little math, little statistical stuff, and he comes out with the pick, with method. He's saying Allen by decision. That's Underdogs MMA. Link is in the description. Um, and we got Schroeder. Schroeder, what is it, Schroeder MMA bet, I think it is. Anyway, Schroeder, he's saying by decision. Look at that trend, too. Decision, 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 decision. Okay. Um, same over here. We got Yusuf, decision, decision. Who else we got? Uh, Tiger Bomb. There's another pair. Tiger Bomb, that's Johnny and Jose, both. Tiger Bomb MMA are both saying decision. Uh, MMA Genie. Also taking Sodik Youssef. Uh, it's your boy. Thought I probably thought I forgot about him. He didn't do it. He, he had like... He did his full card breakdown like back when it was still Vittori versus Darren Till. And uh, he didn't do another full card after that because he, he kind of messed up. But he did do a separate, he did these this 
and this breakdown and this breakdown separately. So I got him to throw up to throw up on here. Uh, he's saying Yusef by decision. Okay, and finally we got one more. We got King of Crackdowns. K of C. He's also taking Yusef by decision. Look at that. That's all the captors I got to. I meant to. There's some more that are on my list that I want to check out. Will Martin, you know, uh, DFS by the numbers. There's still, you know, but it is what it is. Take it. Okay. So, um, man, this is a, this is a close one. I, from what the cappers say, they both have some pretty good stand-up skills. And they both they're both all around. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a dog fight. It's gonna be a good fight. But uh I'm gonna have to go with um I'm gonna have to go with the plus number because I'm a gambler. I I mean nice nah, yeah. I Cage Warriors, man. I like Cage Warriors. And that's that's where his uh you know Arnold Allen is from that from Cage Warriors Yusuf he's the, was Nigerian I don't know what promotion he's from he but he does have a he is super though <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna have to go with Allen I'm gonna say just for because he's plus points I think it's a good underdog bet. He's, they're both 27 years old, right? Yeah, both of them are 27. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with these guys and say Allen by decision. I like that, plus money. I don't bet negative money. I would have to take Yusef. I would have probably taken by decision. That would probably make that a plus money. But I don't, I feel better off taking, it's a dog or pass for me here. Yep. Okay, finally, we got the main event. Get this sucker done so we can watch a little bell tour. I gotta watch the weigh-in still. I'm multitasking tonight, buddy. All right, um, we've got the Italian dream, Marvin Vittori taking on Trailblazer Kevin Holland. Oh, Kevin Holland, Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland. <laughs> what are you doing, Kevin Holland? Okay, this is going to be interesting. Marvin Vittori is 16-3-1. Very good fighter. Uh, coming off that win against Jack Hermanson, unanimous decision win. He fights out of Kings MMA. People like Jake Ellenberger, Rafael Dos Santos, Fabricio Verdum, Neil Darius, Giga Chikazi, just to name a few. Um, big favorite here, minus 355. Minus 355 favorite here. He's taken on short notice replacement for Darren Till. Kevin Holland, who just fought like two weeks ago against a lackluster performance against Derek Brunson, which he lost by a unanimous decision. Okay. Now, um, he has a record of 21 and 6. He's a plus 280 underdog. Kevin Holland is a plus 280 underdog. He's got a 7 inch reach advantage and a 3 inch height advantage over Martin Vittori. He, but he is taking this on 10 days' notice. Okay, fighting out of Travis Luter BJJ down in Fort Worth, Texas. Now here's the deal. Um, I heard, hold on, I, sorry folks, hold on, I'll be right back. I heard Kevin Holland, that fight against, this could be all rumor, this could just be story, but I heard he threw that fight against Derek Brunson. He had like a relative or a friend or something Put some outrageous bet on Derek Brunson by decision. I think Derek Brunson by decision was, I think, a plus, maybe plus 600. So if you put some outrageous, you know, $10,000 bet, you're going to make a nice chunk of change there. 
Now this could just be speculation, but then the, the person, I'm not gonna, I'm not spreading any gossip. So I'm not gonna reveal the source. And this is just gossip. This could totally be false. But the person that I heard this from said that if you go back and watch the fight, the whole, you know, the talking and everything, it's like, and other other people, even that aren't in on the conspiracy thing, have said that he wasn't, Kevin Holland was not giving it his all. He was, you know, he was performing very under his level. So he was kind of, you could interpret it as he wanted to lose by decision, he, you know, he wasn't gonna get knocked out, but he wasn't gonna, and he wasn't gonna get it submitted, but he was gonna, this, it kind of makes sense. It's disgusting to think about it at, in that way, like you would throw a fight. But uh, then here he comes, whoo, two weeks later, he's a short notice replacement, 280. Uh, plus 280 underdog, plus 280 underdog, Kevin Holland, taking on the rightful favorite and prime fighter in Marvin Vittori. But, uh, man, you got to think, if there is some sort of a tinfoil, if I get tinfoil hat out, you could say this might be a trap. This could be a trap. Kevin Holland does, like that last fight, He, if he threw it, he, he wanted to lose. And he wanted to get his, his, you know, his value, he wanted to get his value down. Then when he performs this next fight against Marvin Vittori, he might come out full of fire, you know, piss and vinegar, just ready to get that, you know, redemption over a game individual that's a minus 355 favorite. It just, I mean, it's if you wanna be a conspiracy theorist and go that route and think speculation, like this is the bookie's trap, I mean, get everybody messing up so many parlays. If, if Kevin Holland wins, it will, It'll be a bookie's, you know, yay, all the parlay. Because, you know, every, think everybody's probably got Marvin Vittori in a parlay. I don't know. But let's see what these uh, handicappers have to say. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? You know? Trick me once. Shame on you. Trick me twice. Shame on you. Trick me three times. Hold up. Rewind. That's not just, that's not possible. Okay. Marvin Vittori. Take in Marvel Tour. We've got um, Underdogs MMA. That's the guy that does the DraftKings. I like him. Cool dude. I don't know. Maybe I'll invite him on the show sometime. Do a live thing. Underdogs. He's saying by uh, he's gonna get Vittori's gonna get it done in the third. I don't know if he's. I can't remember if he said knockout or um, submission or what. Then, um, uh, MMA Genie, Justin Jr., he said Vittori's going to get it done via decision. Okay, remember, minus 355 favorite, huge favorite. Be, you'd be nonsense to pick Holland, nonsense, right, out of your mind. Tiger Bomb. Both Tiger Bomb guys, uh, Johnny and Jose, are saying Vittori by submission. You gotta think though, Vittori does have way better uh, submission in grappling. I think Holland might edge him out in striking, but Vittori's on the ground grappling. I mean, he's definitely got the edge there. And he can strike, so now that Vittori can strike, he's ch he could be a champ. Marvin Vittori, I'm, there's, you know, but I don't know if that's really justified. Might that that might be a little souped up. I was thinking before these odds come out, I would have said maybe a a minus two ten round there favorite minus two ten favorite. Then there's a minus three fifty five. Holy smokes! 
Okay, both those guys said by sub. Johnny said by second round, and uh, Jose said third or fourth. Um, e money. Also take the Marvin Vittori. Okay, uh, Parlay Punch. Both those guys are taking uh, Marvin Vittori. Matt said by TKO. I didn't catch really Josh, Josh's method, but he's, yeah, maybe he's agreeing. So I'm just gonna put TKO. Matt and Josh at the Parlay Punch. Um. Both the boys from Fight Night Picks, Matt and Craig Allen. Fight Night Picks, both of them on board with Vittori. UFC celebrities and classics. That is Vlad. I gotta, I gotta talk to him. On, I gotta see if he wants to do the thing tomorrow morning. I might do it tonight. The last looks after. Maybe you know what. I don't like to do it in the morning, get it done right now, don't focus on what's not important. I might just do it tonight, the last looks. After I watch weigh-ins, maybe I'll just do it, just the last looks live tonight, because this stuff starts tomorrow at noon, or maybe I'll do it in the morning, but I don't know. I still have to think it over. Anyway, um, put in the comments. If you, if you want to do it tonight, you're a capper. Put it in the comments. If I see it, I'll probably do it tonight. Or if you want to be, if you're a capper and you want to be on it and with me tomorrow morning, put it in the comments. I'll figure out how to get you a link to StreamYard. You can do it tomorrow morning with me. Or Vat, Vlad, or all three of us. You know, I'm game. I'm whatever. This is, you know what? Listen to this. You guys know who Gary V is. He's a like a entrepreneur, motivational guy anyway i follow him on instagram and uh i watched the thing today and this kid who's a youtuber has about he's got like a food channel this kid he asked gary v how do i get more uh subscribers more um you know likes and comments how i get and he was like first of all don't worry about none of that all that's gonna do is stress you out don't even worry about that just do what you think is fun. Do this for the reason you did it in the first place, for fun. Don't let that stuff spoil. And you know what? That's what I'm doing right here. I would do this for fun. You know, that's, I just wanted to get that point across a little. Yeah, do this for fun. So back, I forgot, lost track there. Leighton, speaking about motivational talkers, Leighton from UFC Gambling Addicts, UGA. He's taking... Vittori by decision. Um, it's your boy eBay's got Vittori submitting Holland in the second round. Then we've got uh, MMA lock of the night, Manpreet on Vittori. Okay, uh, I'm a prediction guru. Say inventory submission round two. Um, King of Crackdowns, okay, of C. Also take inventory. Look at this, guys. Would you, can you believe it? <laughs> Who would think with a minus 355 favorite that everybody in the world's taking them? Who thought that? Uh, submission, round three. And uh, last guy I got written on here is MMA Kelton. Also on side with the Tory. It should be a three times, almost a three times over cap, full cap or consensus. However, that's not the case here because I do have two cappers that are taking Kevin Holland. I do believe I heard this right by them. I, I didn't, you know, I listened to it on the car, in the car ride on the way home. So, but uh, 
I jotted it down. Um, we've got uh, on from Kelton show. We've got Clint McLean from Die Hard MMA podcast. Now he is uh, since odds has stopped doing content. He is now since uh, now he's on a uh, Pub Sports Radio, which is another. They're kind of like a, they have a whole bunch of they get a whole bunch of cappers. They employ them. They pay them to do picks. Jimmy the Bag from Odds, also on Pub Sports Radio. So make sure you guys subscribe to him there. Um, anyway, Clint. At Die Hard. And he, it's not like he's, he's like, oh, I'm all over Kirk coming on. No, this is, he said dog or pass situation for him here. Especially with these odds. Yeah, that's what he, he may have changed his mind. Now, I got to watch the weigh-ins. I got to get this done. But uh, I'll just write Clint at Die Hard dog or pass. Okay, just to clear his you know, full transparency there. I don't want to mislead you guys, but uh, Clint's, you know, he's not the most accurate predictor anyway, but he is very entertaining and knowledgeable about the sport. I enjoy his content very much. I got the t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> okay, uh, Kevin, uh, also we've got, uh, write this one big too, Schroeder, I do believe, I heard this right, or you know what, in his prop bet, his last, I'll put the link in, his last thing, I had it because it was one of the last ones I wrote, I had it really quick, and I didn't catch, because he's another one, he did his uh, prediction card early, so he had Vittori versus Till predicted, however, then I didn't have a chance to watch his Vittori versus Holland breakdown, but in his prop bet section of his last video he uh he said he's betting Kevin Holland by decision because it's plus 1,000 payout plus 1,000 payout for Kevin Holland by decision am I right Schroeder I, I am right because you're right that might have even went up a little bit today. Who knows? But uh, Throder M M A bet is saying by decision plus one thousand plus one thousand. That means you put a hundred dollars on it, you win a thousand. If you put ten dollars on it, you win a hundred. That's what that means, people. Okay, so here we go. Um, on <laughs> on uh, tapology, on topology, I'm probably gonna pick Marvin Vittori by um, decision. But gambling, I, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to throw Vittori in a couple parlays too. I'm not going to lie there. But gambling, like straight bet, I'm not betting on my money on Vittori straight bet. I am throwing it right here. So I'm going to write the dollar sign there. And I'm going to do that. I like this, uh, I like this right here with Schroeder by decision. And wouldn't the bookies be happy if that turned out right? So I'll write it again. Plus 1,000. I have to sprinkle $10 on that, try to make $100 off. I mean, got to, right? But my pick, and I think Vittori is even. Even if that wasn't a, like a fixed fluke and he's going to come out, you know, prime a perfect, the, you know, perfect fighter, the one that, uh, 
you know, was the fighter before the Derek Brunson fiasco. Still, I think Kevin Holland on his best day would not beat Vittori. That's why I'm taking Vittori, but he's worth that money. He's worth that pick. So, to uh, recap. Time check. Okay, to recap, I've got uh, Arnold Allen beating Sodiq Youssef by decision. I like I like Cage Warrior fighters. I like the British, the UK fighters, the Welsh fighters. I like like Patty the Batty Pimblet, all them boys from the UK. I you know I'm kind of biased on them too, but. Uh, what I really like about him is he's plus 130 in a fight that he can win. So the gambler in me is picking that. And, you know, it really is a kind of a coin flip. So, yeah, that's my pick. I'm taking him by decision. Then I am in tapology for my contest pick. I am taking Marvin Vittori. He should win, and he should get it done soundly. However... For tin foil hat reasons and worth the ten dollar gamble, I am gonna throw money on Kevin Holland by decision. I will play Vittorian, I don't know, probably a handful of parlays, maybe like three or four parlays, probably. I don't know, maybe I'll find out tonight during or tonight or tomorrow during the last looks video. Okay, so gather the info. Place the bets and cash the tickets. Thanks for watching. Give me that thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done that. Hit the like button. Um, share it. I never say share it. I don't know why I don't say that. Go ahead and share it. I got to get set. I want some more subscribers. That would be nice. I'd like to monetize someday. That would be awesome. But anyway, I appreciate you watching. Good luck on your bets. I'll see you next episode.